Hey guys, this is Getsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. In the last episode, we defeated a boss, which is still extremely tough, even though, um, we're level 30, but it's on hard. I'd recommend being level 13 to 17 to fight him. I hope I said that in the last episode, but anyways, he's done, and we get new title, Advanced Combo User. Unlike Symphonia, the uh, titles really don't do anything. I'll only give you the costumes, which sucks. Ah, oh, sorry about that. I really thought the cutscene was voice. I was like, oh, I'll let it do its voice thing, but it's not. Because it's lame. There's still a lot of cutscenes in this game aren't voiced. Like, it's not like Symphony where like pretty much 90% of the off scenes are not voiced at all. I'll blow you away. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, I learned Fang. Sweet. Severing Fang is good, but it. I still tank my TP at like this area of the game. I get a little bit later where I can use my TP freely and it doesn't really punish me that much. But for now, it just destroys my TP. Stop knocking him down, Carol. I hate Carol. He always moves like knock him down to that. He's a nuisance. And of course he levels up. Figures. I just see my arcs. Let's see. Oh, oops. I want that to be him. I don't want this to be crushing you all. Dragon Swarm. <clears throat> there we go, see, look at this. Look at this TP consumption for these moves. They take a lot, that's why I'm probably going to stick to my weaker moves for quite a while. Because I only have like 300 TP. Wow, I got more than Carol, I didn't know that. Then again, he has way more HP. And this, so this scene better be voiced. It's beautiful. This is... It's water. The ocean. Isn't it just beautiful? It's the ocean. I know, I live in the prairies. The only time I get to see this is if I leave my province. <laughs> pictures and books before, but I've never seen it up close like this. Well, people don't usually travel outside the barriers. Because it's dangerous because of all the monsters that kill people. If we keep going, we can see all sorts of things, like the jungle or the city of waterfalls. There are so many more things we could learn. If only our journey would continue. If only. I guess it's true. I really was living in a small world. Yes, you were, Yuri. Even in the movie, you're still like that. Uh, speaking of which, I recommend you go watch Tales of Asperia the First Strike. It's a really good movie. And also, it really um, highlights a lot of stuff in this uh, game. Because it tells you a lot of backstory about uh, most of the characters. Except a few of them. A few of them you don't even see. Wait, how the hell is it Rita's first time? She's a maid. She could travel all over. She's a researcher. Somebody's gonna get smacked for saying that. Having you pity me makes me want to jump off this cliff. Or worse. This water has traversed the world's oceans and has seen all there is to see. The ocean binds the lands of our world together. Here she goes again. It's really just one big puddle, you know. There's uh, Estelle who thinks of everything as beautiful, and Rita who thinks of everything as like plain and like whatever. Whatever. You were pretty moved back there too. Oh. Huh? Yeah, she was. That's why she didn't backhand him. So this is the world as he sees it. Yuri? Flynn must have stood on this spot earlier. And looked out at the same scene. Except he probably seen it like 15 times because he's a knight and he's always walking His around. His duties do take him to many different places. Always telling me to catch up with him. Easy for him to say. Nor Harbor is just around the corner from Emmett Hill. We'll catch up to him in no time. It's not what I was talking about. Silly, silly, what? Carol. What do you mean? All right, let's get moving before LeBlanc and friends show up again. 
Because the last thing we need is another tutorial battle. We'll have plenty more chances to see the ocean. Your journey will continue for as long as you want. It's all up to you. You've made it this far, haven't you? That's true. Last one down's a rotten egg! Yeah! Hold on, let me throw Carol down. Ah! Yuri, help! See, look at that. Almost falls and dies. And there should be a grave around here somewhere. Where is it? Um, oh, that's right. It's over here. And there's a chest with um, an orange gel. It's nice. Here we go. Here's the grave. What's this supposed to be? Is it a grave, perhaps? A grave in a place like this? Actually, this is just the type of place I'd expect to see one. You know, like the grave of someone who plotted against the Empire and failed. <laughs> if you wanted to bury somebody and keep it quiet, you'd want a place like this where no one is around. I wonder if that's what I got in store for me. Yep. They're gonna put Yuri right up at the middle. Nice, good spot for him. <laughs> Oh, I love how they uh, make such a little dark joke about that. And of course, Yuri wasn't kidding, because that's probably what would happen to him. Even when he was in the Knights, he was still like this. What happens to them? They get cremated and have their ashes scattered over a river or field, usually. Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. If they believe in cremation, though, it is. If not, then that's just bad. We got started talking about this because you made a dark joke about burying dead bodies out here like the Mafia would. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what a lone grave is doing in this place. Yeah, so just who does it belong to? There's some. This grave actually belongs to someone you'll hear about it later, and also this is side quest related to actually something important in the game. That won't take place till relevant. I don't... It either is or isn't, but the side quest I'm doing is extremely, extremely, extremely picky, and you miss one thing, you're fucked. Like, literally, you have no chance if you miss it. So now, let's get out of here. La la la. That's pretty much it for Emmy. Emmy Till, we just walked down here and we're done. That boss kicked my ass, though. Actually, I think I can swap on my weapon now. Oh, I can't. Oh, my God. I should have did that right before I fought him. Uh, wait. I lose it. Oh, I already learned this. Um, here we go. Francesca. Item Pro. It actually increases the amount of characters unable to move after using items. These are good. I should have had these. I can't believe I didn't. Alright, let's check the skills. Um. Okay. See if everyone has all those things they need. <laughs> Alright, um. Check equipment. I think she has something new, does she? Oh, no, she doesn't. Okay. I could have swore they all had something new to use. Oh, well. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Just go away. Yeah, axes are slower than swords. I might have said that before when they also are like more powerful. Yeah. And we also kill that thing pretty fast. But I like swords more than axes, because one, they're cooler. And two, there's a chest over here. And no oh, god. Holy crap, super encounter link. This looks easy. Don't let him trip you up. Actually, did I miss any of these? Uh, I would really be mad if I did. And I hate the Getsuos, and I hate their cubs. So they just swarm me and just won't leave me the freak alone. Die. Stop. There we go. Thank you, Carol. Stop that. Ugh. Shut up, Rita. It's not my fault you're not using all your cast, even though you have like so much good damage, you're so awesome. Yeah. Leave me alone. Ah, stop attacking me. When they attack like this, you can't even move. They just combo you to death. Oh, I, oh, I did not want to use Guardian. Guardian uses TP. Ah, freaking stop cornering me, my god. This is the problem with like, counter links. Especially when you fight these little couplings, because these things are annoying as hell.
And also, I'm being made a complete fool of, because even Carol's doing better than I am. And again, they were focusing on me for a while. That's cheap as hell. Yeah. And again, I haven't played this in a while, because I've been playing so, too much Eternal Sonata. And look at all the experience we get. Well, let's get the item. Armored helmet. Is it equipment upgrade? Oh, it is. Yay! More defense for Yuri. He's gonna need it, because he keeps taking way too much goddamn damage. 2,000 gold. Holy ball line. Aw, oh, damn it. You know what? Screw it, I'm running. Actually, yeah, there's only two of them. I'll fight them. And kill this little buddy. And they're dead. Yay. And another level up. We level up way too much in this game. Well, now, hopefully I got everything I needed to get here. Wait, actually, that side quest wasn't related. Ah, don't worry about it. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, god damn it. I feel like an easy win. Dude, I'm just running from these guys. Oh, da, 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 da. I hate fighting those Gatsuo Cubs. They're just as annoying as Gatsuo himself. Oh, god, I hate them so much. They'll probably hate me because I killed their father. Hey, look, it's a bag. Oh, that's a camping set. Oh, look, another tutorial. This is about camping. I think I've only used these like three times in the game total, because you really don't need them. Now I can go off and play Nature Boy whenever we sleep at an inn, and we'll save money, too. Aw, how nice. Then the wolves will get them, too. What are you talking about? Camping sets are single-use only. Rita, don't be so mean. It's totally not in her character. That sounds really useful, Carol. Yeah, they're essential when you're on the road. In addition to camping sets, you can also sleep on the mats. But camping sets are really the best thing to use. You can't get a better night's sleep with anything else. What a wonderful timing, and all of you look so exhausted from climbing. What about you? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we've got ways to go before we get to town. Maybe we should set up camp here. Alright, I'll get everything set up. Oh, once you've camped somewhere, you won't be able to camp around there for a while afterwards. Why's that? After camping at a certain site, the basic barrier that's included in the camping set will stop being effective for a while, so long as you're near that site. And there's no blast here like that. It's not a blast here, actually. Wait, why is the text bubble coming from Yuri? When is Carol talking? And keep monsters at bay for a night, oh boy. But after enough time passes, the monsters get used to the smell, and it won't keep you safe anymore. Makes sense, but this is rather pointless. Just, it does not matter. We don't care about the camp except blah, blah, blah. Obtain tent. Yes. Screw camping. And now we want to go back all the way here and talk to the blast here. Don't you want to get caught by the guards thanks to you-know-who? Oh, wait. I don't do it yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to leave then, come back. Bleh. So let's go to the world map. Such a picky side quest. This is the this is the part of the picky side quest. The other one wasn't. It was just related to something else. Let's go back in. Ah, did not want to fight him. Good. So now let's go back and talk to the thing. Do, 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 do. I love the music. It's so calm. You know, I think it'd be better if we turned back. How come? This is where that broken blasty is. So what? Come on, let's go back. If the night's finest, we'll get in trouble. Oh, Yuri's afraid of getting in trouble. Well, that's a first. I just want to have a look at the blastia. I'm just going to look. Who cares if she gets caught? She's a maid. She'll just light them on fire. Rita, come back! And now we gotta sit here and wait for her. Ekaterine. She named a Blastia. Wow. That's a lame name. Well, not really. It's pretty cool. Dot, 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 dot. All set? Yes. There's nothing that I can do for her. It's just too cruel. How do you tell if the Blastia's a girl or a boy? 
It's not about how valuable they are. Countless people have given their lives to make human civilization what it is. And Blastia have been living together with mankind all of that time. They're more than just a simple tool that we use. How true, how true. Yes. Well, actually, uh, we're almost out of time. Come on, finish cutscene. There we go, yes. But yeah, we're out of time, guys. So next time on Let's Play Tales of Asperia, we'll continue forth on the world map. So see you next time, guys. Goodbye.